on the main Candlepin Bowling Show. <laughs> Starts out with a pick <laughs> of the three pin. <laughs> what is this? And Every time we build someone up, I they know. come up and throw one ball and take one pin. <laughs> well, he comes back with a few more as uh, Don, no stranger to Candlepin Bowling, and of course, uh, TV, he has been on uh, television some 70 times over his illustrious career of 37 years and has about the young man that we've been talking about here um, starts out with a six box but uh, you can just forget about that and he'll I'm sure get uh, get on track shortly he certainly would appreciate you calling him a young man Dick too uh, he is, he's you. younger than I am so he's a young man <laughs> all right Don punching through as uh, he's trying to get that first ball into a groove and again oh. just picks off the uh, three pin looking at the spread eagle a moment ago with the eight pin and then picks out the three pin just for the cleanup oh. ball and all he is getting is one at a time so wow. Don with this, what what's happening here <laughs> <laughs> Don hasn't had a six and five back to back in years I'll tell you that that is highly unusual and unlikely if anyone were ever there and look at this a spread eagle for our champion. So, what has happened? I don't know. I don't know. Five uh, maybe uh, our friend Uncle Bird has put some glue on there. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, and, and a whistle right through the the, yeah. uh, the ball went right through the uh, the same hole. Not a whistle from West Pennell, but uh, a whistle and uh, there was a just a straight and narrow right down the middle. Are these guys going for a strip five six. Let's, let's hope it isn't a four. They'd That's be back right. even. Oh, yeah, could be down the other way, couldn't it? <laughs> I was giving them some credit. Sure. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wait till I tell him you said four. Oh. Well, there he goes. He's back into the pocket a little bit better. But he's got the three and the ten on the right side and the seven across the way covered by wood. That's a good go. Got a little hope there with a couple of pieces of the wood. Well, he gets two-thirds of the shot, but he doesn't carry the spare. So the champion struggling early, as is the challenger. And he even misses that uh, dead wood covered. Uh, <laughs> and we gave him such a big build up here. Uh, they're going uh, to come back you and watch. make us profit. You right? watch. They'll, they'll be right there. Yeah. Well, Don's still off the head pin as he leaves himself with the four horsemen and the wiggling nine pin, just for his first spare. Well, once again, just not getting the spread yet. They're getting what they're hitting and nothing else. That's that's the whole point. They're right on it, the pin they're aiming at. And a nine box. Six, five, nine for Saucia. Don bowls in one league at Vacation Land. That's the speed league on Monday evening and that's a, a very very good league uh, Ray Doobie Al Joy Mike Buzzlechuck you know some uh, who are they <laughs> <laughs> who are they you know <laughs> you know those fellas well there's the uh, the first ball he's looking for at least it's a certainly a lot better break than he's had in the first three boxes Don of course the Owner of Lodge Motel. There it is. The there first pair. So he's finally got himself on track a little bit. Don, the owner of uh, Lodge Motel, and Don's video one and two, and uh, has three children. Wife by the name of Doris. Very busy in his uh, businesses as well as uh, trying to keep his hand in bowling a little bit. But he doesn't bowl as much as he used to. No. But I'll tell you, he still can. Uh, he still can put him up there even though he has that illustrious style yeah. of uh, six and a five. Uh, he used to own Congress Square in Portland there, and, and boy, when they had some matches in there, there was some wicked totals. Beautiful Big shot total. there by Chip Carson, our champion, as he converts for the spare, his first of this match, and take a look at it in replay action. You'll see there the one three, the seven ten, and he hit that like it was just a couple of pins rather than four. There he comes, storming back. Nine drop, eight pin, two pieces of wood to the right of the eight. Now one trips over in front of, and now it's heading for the channel. There it goes. 
Lucas McClear shot at the eight, and he just Whoa. eeks by. Just barely missed that one. He thought sure he had it. I don't think he missed that by uh, oh. two pieces of paper on end. And misses left. So he lets one get away here in the fourth frame. As he goes to 44. Well, he's got eight on that uh, first ball. And he's looking at a cut shot here. The three onto the seven. That is a very tough cut shot. Definitely is. Oh, oh, boy, he thought he had it. He was very close. Very close on that one. Well, maybe even closer on that one, but he still missed. Eight box. And the match is at seven pins, 52-45. Chip Carson, our champion of eight weeks now. This is his ninth week going after the championship leading this would by seven definitely be another record right i mean i don't think anyone's been on this long in the no. last few years not to my knowledge about, in the no. last uh, four years every week will probably be a record for him that he can stay on now that's right breaking his own record week after week here 24 years of age he owns two movie uh, centers one in his hometown and the other just opening up uh, in uh, the month of this month, in fact, February, in Arno. Boy, he looks like he's waiting for Dawn to make a move because uh, neither bowler is doing anything as far as score, and they're just keeping the match close. That's right. Six pins separate the two right now. 60-54, the champion leading by that margin. Dawn considers himself very fortunate here because usually uh, he started right off with big numbers here. That's right. Well, he's got that 10 wiggling as he drops nine, but the 10 is covered by a wood. This will be for Saucy's second mark of the string. And he's right on it. So Don Saucier marking in the seventh frame. And you're right, Russ. Uh, obviously, Don opening up with the 6-5 hoping to get himself on track and not get blown away wow. in the process. And Carson only with that spare nine uh, on the board. So he has kind of, in a way, waited for him. Well, a split, but he does put six on the bill. And now he's even, at the bo even with the box at 70. Tough cut shot. Doesn't get there. And a seven. 77 through eight. Carson, 60 through six. Defeated last week, Gary Junkins of Sanford, 358, 336. The week before, he defeated Elma Tibbetts, 387, 320. The week prior to that, it was Owen Martin, falling to uh, the champion, 402, 315, and it goes on and on and on. Oh, oh what, what a, a shot. shot. Wow. That's two on two, and that is as pretty as they come. See this one more time. It definitely is worthy of another oh, look. Yes. Watch look at this how nicely this pin goes. go over there and just eat those two up. Beautiful look at shot. That. Cuts the three six across for second mark of the string. This for the fill, and he's got a nine drop. Solid seven. What he's looking at for two in a row. He's hoping that wood stays right where it is, so he's got a clear shot at that seven. That's Looks right. Like he's going to have. No. Well, it moves no. back once again. Back. It oh, well. Now it turns. That's now, now it makes it easier. Now it turns. So he's got a much broader target. And oh. But he didn't get it out far enough. He needed to get out a little further to the right. He knew it. So he comes up with a nine and an 88. And that means that uh, through eight frames complete in the first string, it is an 11 point advantage for the champion. See, the funny part of this is Chip is not bowling well this spring, really, and yet he's got an 11 pin lead already. That's, 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 been him his, yeah. that's been his trademark, that's right. Even when he's been off a little bit, he's still been bowling well enough. 
the thing is you become so accustomed to those 130s and 140s that he's been throwing with relative ease that when he gets a 110 or 120 string right. which is you know a, still a good string uh you you tend to think oh look yeah. at that shot. what a nice, nice shot the crafty veteran comes yeah. back with a spare of his own and that was a nice spare for don sauce here watch this one score right on the out of the action. channel watch this beautiful out. job comes around that. kicks off the sideboard and there goes the five pin it's the fill well he got a break he got a break there he looked like he was going to leave a split with that 10 pin but he got a rolling wood to carry that so now he's going for two in a row oh. and he just picks out the lead two the two pin and a 10 bar. So Saucier opens with a 104. That's about three marks below his average. The champion, 88. Two frames to roll here in the opener. Oh, nicely thrown as he leaves the solid nine pin. He puts that ball in the pocket, Dick. They just seem to try to collapse onto each other. Oh, oh. No, two nine pins. Yes, yes. He comes by the left side of that lone pin and comes right back with the 10 bar. Well, Something he has he's really waiting. done. He's waiting is all you can say. He's uh, had an opportunity here to put a little distance out there and he still hasn't done it yet. The lead is down to four now. It was 11 just uh, one box ago. Now it's down to four. It's like a sparring match. Both of them kind of feeling each other out in the opening string here, not really getting into the flow. Three, six, ten, and the eight pin. Wood in front of the three. Well, look at this. He's got it moving, but it will not fall. Wrapped around it, hit it, rubbed against it, and still wouldn't go. So a 107. 104 and we've got ourselves a three pin match after one so don't leave because things should get much more interesting in the second and third string right here on main candle pin bowling leaving at the same time. Chris Clean Dentine. We'll take care of your breath. The rest is up to you. On the lane right now, Chip Carson leads by three. Drop seven here at his first ball in the second string. Nice try. He uh, tried to cut that one three over to the seven. And a nine box to open things up. Joey LeBlonde over there on the scoreboard as usual. And uh, on the line today, the referee and law blind judge, Wes Brunell. Behind us, the statistician and uh, scorekeeper for us up back, Judy Berry. Also, Baker Extraordinaire. <laughs> Wes, right. the, the uh, ice cream maker. I mean, all these aliases and titles, huh? And then there's Ross and Dick. We're still here. That's right. That's right. What a nice try there. Good offer. 
to forget, if you're interested in watching some of these pros in action, we've got the main pro tour going to Pittsfield, March 4th and 5th. So all of you people up there in eastern Maine and near that area, if you want to go out and see these bowlers, plus a lot of other good bowlers, it's right there at Pittsfield Bowling Center, March 4th and 5th. Not too far away. And uh, opportunity to see some great caliber bowling. Well, Don on the head pin, leaving himself pretty much with the same split that uh, Skip, uh, excuse me, uh, Chip opened up with early. And uh, he'd like to slide that one across, of course, for the spear. Three, six. Oh. oh, he snapped his fingers like it was going to go because it looked awfully good going in. But it again, did. He, he, he did everything he could do with it. It just wasn't angled quite right. And he whistles by on the channel side of the seven pin for a nine box. Russ, uh, by the way, I've got to uh, wish my wife happy birthday. Tomorrow is her birthday, and I just want to make sure that she knows that I'm thinking of her. Wow. Um, well, that's nice, good. Uh, yes, nice I'll birthday. say happy birthday to Thank her, too. You. Thank Very you. Very nice lady. Yeah. And a skip and a jump, and he's got himself uh, three quarters of the back row back there with no wood. <laughs> a very unenviable oh. type shot. Looking at the 8, 9, 10. Yeah. You notice Dawn dropped that ball, too, and, you know, that took the roll off the ball, and once it does, then, you know, just what happened there, anything can happen. Yeah, he lost it doesn't it. work the same. And a 7. So the lead now has been doubled. Six pins. It was three. Now it's six. And neither bowler really willing to take uh, control of this yeah. match. I, I'm and beginning to wonder. <laughs> uh, maybe it's the bowler they're going to face next week, which we don't know yet, but uh, maybe they don't want to face anyone else. Well, here there he goes. comes. There goes Chip. He starts off with a hammer here in the third frame. <coughs> so that's right. I don't know. We gave him this big buildup. Let's take a look at the replay action here, and you'll see how uh, he gets the five to finally go into the eight and there's the strike. You notice uh, the last three strikes that we've we've shown that on. The eight pin is the last one to go. Uh, he's kicking the five out, and they're falling into that eight, and he's getting the strike. That's unusual. Real good power ball. Most of the time, it's the five pin that stands. And it's a, what they call a king pin, the key to that strike ball. This one, he gets a little bit on the full side, and he leaves himself with the goal post, seven, oh. ten. Oh. And I don't think that wood's going to remain on the plate as it wants to catch the left channel so he puts eight on the fill and an eight box says he caught the channel uh, or the wood in the channel and uh, he'll move to 45 Here we are in the middle string, and things still very tight. Only one mark up in the first six boxes. Don Saucia still has not gotten himself on track, but neither has our champion, Chip Carson. No, it's certainly, at this point, anyone's match. It's just a matter of who can get them going and string a few together. 107 for Carson, 104 for Saucia. Hey, He's got the spear. That's the a nice, there we nice go. spear. Very nicely done by the challenger. Well, if anyone knows these lanes, he does. That's for sure. Let's take a look at that once more, as you'll see how he uses the dead wood very effectively here. Gets the kick and the roll. There it goes. And he's in the pocket solid this time, and he nearly had the goal post, 7-10, similar to what uh, Chip had moments ago. Just for two in a row. No bonus money yet. Right, on, right it. on it. So after four in the middle string, it is the challenger coming back here as he's tied it up with 45, but he has a bonus ball to roll. Don't leave now. This one is really a cliffhanger. Ready? In a minute, honey. It's nice to be noticed for what you wear and how you look. And if you wear dentures, it's nice to know Effordent freshens up dentures and cleans away stains so well. With Effordent, all they'll notice is you. When the burning, itching, and soreness of hemorrhoids flare up, 
Tux medicated pads give you soothing, cooling relief on contact. For hemorrhoid flare-up, get Tux from Park Davis. I eat sausage with onions with your presidents and my wife is telling me get lost. So, I'll take a Clorette. Hello, my little babushka. Only Clorette has acted all with chlorophyll. Gets rid of bad breath fast. I don't believe this. I have a piece of garlic bread with my dinner, and what happens? My dog won't even come near me, so I take a Clorette. <laughs> hey, Robbie! Only Clorette has acted all with chlorophyll. Gets rid of bad breath fast. $100 or a stylish 27-inch RCA stereo TV with full remote operation, just $899. Save $400. How about a stereo VHS deck, just $299. Don's Video with over 6,000 movie titles. Club memberships that offer more than just reduced prices on rentals. And two locations to serve you. There's always something new at Don's Video. There it is, the Zenith 20-inch cable-ready color television from LeBlanc's Audio Video Center on 471 Elm Street, and... Oh. I thought that was gone. Looks Notice like a the hammer. Notice the 8-pin again, Dick. Yeah. Uh, they, yeah. It rolled away instead of to it this That's time. Right. That's the only difference. We were talking about the television set, and Chip, our champion, comes back with a near hammer and tried to get himself on track here. And of course, in order to get that, you've got to get uh, that television set. You've got to get three strikes in a row, and uh, not an easy task. No, no, certainly not. So spare for Carson. And look at this. Well, he could have had a double. That's how close That's that was right. to being a double. He's got the hammer right on top of the spear, and Chip could have had very easily a double working. You notice again, Dick? We get two max against him. That's right. He comes and he roaring comes right back. back. Bang. His middle name must be Lion. He just roars back at you. Look at that one on instant replay action. He goes into that one-two pocket solid. Here's Sasha coming back. See what he can do to answer now. He's working on two in a row, and he's got himself three pieces of oh. wood surrounded around. Well, one, uh, one finally goes off into the gutter. This is not an easy shot, Dick. The three and the ten. Here, where he goes with it. He's outside and yeah. can't get the angle. The wood was just yeah. too straight, too to, straight to snap it around. If he snapped it around outside, then he would have lost the, right. the front pin, certainly. So, And Don knew that. So he does not come up with bonus money, but he keeps the match somewhat close. Five pins, Five in pins. Fact, but he, strike up. Right, he's got to answer with a mark here. Yeah, strike up. Five pins separating the two. Carson working on two in a row. Again, Don dropping that ball uncharacteristically, and he's got the two wiggling and a couple of pieces of wood out in front of it and the 10 in the far right-hand corner. He might be able, well, that's a double wood. You never know with double wood, but he might be able to snap that over. Going down low. Well, he got the ball. Oh, All right. Ball. All that's right. He grab. says, I'll take it. Not exactly the way I diagrammed it on the board, but it did go with the ball. And uh, as, uh, as you can see on this, second time around shot here. Look at the replay action. This is where you'd rather be lucky than That's good. Right. Look, Look at this at the ball. ball. Off Bang. the kickback and it had eyes. Came right off and caught the 10 pin. Skip coming back with a good break of his own for the fill at least. Now he's got three pieces of wood around the four and the seven and then of course he's got the nine ten on the other side. This is interesting here because that wood out front has turned just enough. It might make it possible to throw that over. I don't know. See where he goes here. It's on the top, and he drives it, everything and everything but the right. end. Yeah. He didn't have an awful lot of angle, but he gave it a good run. So again, bonus money seems to be eluding both of our bowlers here, but a nice 10-pin uh, pick there by the champion. 
But you notice one gets going, the other gets that's going. That's right. That's the sign of two good bowlers out there. That's what it was. It was a kind of a feeling out process in the first string where they both were subpar at 107, 104. Boss year, of course, the challenger trailing by three after that initial string. Oh. Now look at this backdoor action. He's looking at the one and the eight now. No wood between the two. He made the one nine last uh, week. Just like that. Pretty shot. Just like that. Pretty and shot. Boy, he makes oh that boy. look so easy, Dick. Yeah, I got to get a lesson from him on that shot. He's got it down pat. He's made that Pretty. twice now. And. Uh, no wood in between. Oh, that's a tough shot. The ball has to go straight and take that. If you hit it lighter, you don't get it. If you hit it heavy, you don't get it. Perfect. Saucier working on the spare. Well, again, he's just not getting the ball to roll the way he wants. It's bouncing out there. Timing is just a dike off. Oh, nice offer. If that had been his first ball instead of his second, That's what a right. difference. 11 pins separate the two. Still 11 pins with that 10 box. Facing a spare in the eighth frame. 94-86 Sasha trailing by eight in this string, but he Again, went down facing three in the spare. first one. That's right, spare up. Oh, that was the best ball he's thrown, and look what he gets. <laughs> that was smooth, Yes, but he pitch, picks out just the one and the eight. Nice, oh, nice cleanup ball. Nice cleanup. Three, six remaining, but boy, that, that could have been disastrous. Excellent nine. That is really a very, very good nine. Taking out the one eight like that makes that so much harder because then you've got to be in there and split one side or the other. Real tough shot. Working on a spare and he's oh. got the hammer. That one was uh, that was oh. labeled all the way. He knew it. He knew it when he let go of it. You can tell what a beautiful ball. Spare strike and uh, take a look at this one as uh, He's right on the spot. Bang. Notice the five pin that time? That was the last one to it go. That was, was just, just a hammer ball all the way. And the five was surrounded by about three other pins, and it just went down beautifully. And this time he pulls it wide, wide left. He's at 124. This bonus ball on top of that. Oh, oh. solid. <laughs> that was for bonus money again. That was solid in the pocket, and he missed the 10, and no explanation for it, except that's Candlepin Bowling. That's it. A fine 143 as Carson comes back roaring here in the middle string. He has a 250 two-string total. Now it's up to the challenger to see if he can respond. He's at 95. He needs a couple of big ones right here to stay close. The five, seven, ten. He's got a piece of wood on the left side angled well. Now the uh, wood on Better the right side. That other pin out. is out of there. Right. So that does give him a shot now. Definitely. I think if he can go above that red line, the ball will go over and take the seven pin, and the pin should slide over and take the ten. Well, he gets down just yeah. below the red line. Oh, and maybe. He's got a maybe. rolling wood. Is it enough maybe. steam on it? Not oh. enough. Not, Not enough. Quite. Not enough, Carry. Ten box. If you get the five, seven, ten, that's the way you want it, with a piece of wood somewhere <laughs> angled in that direction. But Don did not hit it in all fairness where he wanted, I'm sure. 105. So he trails by 31 pins through 19 frames. Hammer time. There, there it is. is. There's well, a big that's, one. that's the best way that I know of to that's cut right. back into that 31 pin deficit. And he's going to pick up a few more here, as you can see on replay action. Finally got that ball solid right in there. there. Notice. And he gets the, the good kick. 
coming from that nine pin falling onto the five. The last two to go. He'd like to double here, but he's too solid, so he'll settle for three or four more. And uh, a decent fill closing out this second straight. Oh, nice 10 nice. box. Yeah. Excellent 10 box and a fine 125. He's right at his average with a 229 total and 21 pins separating the two after two complete. Don't leave now. We've got the third and most exciting string, we hope, to follow right after these words. There he is, Joe LeBlanc beside our Pete Tideway scoreboard. And uh, Saucier, the challenger, trailing by 21 pins now through two. He's got a, a possibility of a spare here as he's got that three pin still wiggling and the seven, nine, ten with four pieces of wood on the back part of the plate. See if he can drive it. There yes. it is. There it is. He hit it just where he wanted. Perfect shot. Yeah, Perfect. It was. Threw that pin over there just pretty. So he opens up with what he needs the most right in this match. A spare. Of course. And here on the replay action, you'll see exactly how he used that uh, Deadwood to perfection. Beautifully done. The fill. And he's got a moving. Eight. The six, excuse me, the uh, three and the five would between the two picks. Two in a row. Oh, oh he no. It. He pulled it left and wow. caught the cap. That looked like a real good shot for Dawn, too. At a nine box. No, he'd like that one back. Oh, he'll need that one back, too. Chip won't let him get away with that. You can't miss against this guy. No, that was uh, a good opportunity. Oh, a real uh, good opportunity. Chip Carson leading by 21. Facing a spare up. So uh, that lead could be cut nearly in half here if he doesn't uh, convert this four horseman. Oh, what an oh. offer. Danced the pin right behind it, up and down, around. Just wouldn't take it there. Great try. 13 pins now, separating our two bowlers. And we've got ourselves just the remainder this of this This is a dandy match. That's right. 13 pins doesn't mean anything for these two bowlers. Not at all. Two big marks. 107, 143 for the champion. 104, 125 for the challenger Saucier. Dawn's going to think back to that spare shot, though. And an eight box. No, we're down so it's down to 12. 12 pins, Dick. That's right. 12 pins. Remember, uh, our over 400 triple, our jackpot shot, and our home viewer drawing are uh, sponsored each and every week by Bob Brochu, the owner of uh, Whitehall and Porky's down at Old Orchard Beach. And again, we want to thank them publicly for their support of the main Candleton Bowling Show. A great place to watch those sporting events on their five TVs and a giant screen down there at the Whitehall, where they're open seven days a week year round. Around the corner at Porky's, it's a uh, also a fun place to uh, meet new friends, make uh, new acquaintances, and open, uh, they're open every Friday and Saturday throughout the year with live entertainment and dancing. And uh, go down there and say hi to Gigi, Steve, and Bob, and all the gang down there. They, uh, I'm certainly, they, uh, certain they would be glad to see you. Wouldn't hurt, certainly, to mention that you uh, heard about it on the uh, main panel of the bowling show. Let them know that you're watching us and that you enjoy the great sport of Candleton. Saucier with a 10 box now looking for his second spare of this, the third string. He's got it on it. So he's That's putting the he pressure needs. on our yep. young champion now. Yep. Our young champion in his ninth week. 
This is where Chip has always responded, so it'll be interesting to see what he does right here. He has rolled 358, 387, 402, 358, 408, 392, 412, 404. I mean, you talk about some amazing numbers. This young man has just owned lane five Ooh. at Vacation Land Bowling. It certainly has. Tremendous win streak here. And right now, it's in jeopardy. An eight box. So the lead now is down to 10. With a spare up. So we're pretty close to being almost dead even. Well, 10 pins, that's still a big mark, but you're right. It's a lot better than being 21 down, which is the way he started. Comes right back with an eight drop. You're looking now Ooh. at the five and the 10, the Woolworth shot with a Deadwood. Might be able to get this off the cap of that. Cradle off to the right. Drives it across, oh. and look at this. Come on. Look at that shot. <laughs> he hit, he, <laughs> he hit did everything he as, could. About as close to perfect as you could get. Comes up with a 10 box as he settles for second best. But that was a great offer, Russ. Excellent, a tough excellent shot. I mean, could have gone as well as not. Well, we're down to 10 pins, but Don has a spare. If he throws the hammer here, we're back even. Yeah, with uh, just six frames to go. What a big ball this is right here. No question about it. And it's there also it is. momentum. What? That's a hammer. What Two did I in say? a row. And it's also for the momentum. And that's a big part of any, any sport. Take a look at this one as Don Satya coming back with a clutch hammer on top of the spare right there. There it is, the 1-3 pocket. And he's looking for three in a row bonus money and another hammer, obviously. Well... He's got seven. He more does have two pieces of oh wood Oh, yes. There. More important, it looks like that spare shot will go. That's the important thing right here. It is makeable. Yes, it is. Well, no, the pin that it. we thought would, yeah. would carry. Well, I think when he dropped that ball, it took yeah. enough off the dick so that it just wouldn't drive. You know, it just it took everything off the ball. I was worried about the 10 pin yes. for Connor, and yeah. of course the 9 pin is the one that's still standing. Yeah. So, and I think Don probably felt that way. Well, the important thing is he's got this match back to even, and now it's up to Chip to come back. That's right. So he comes back with a good 10, and uh, he's got three marks up in this string as he is at 86 through 6. Chip Carson, our current champion, 36 through 4, even though he led by 21 coming into the string. Let's see what happens here. Let's see how it answers. Look. Oh, oh, that was a good, solid pocket hit. And he leaves the well, 8 and the 10 with a piece of wood, or two pieces of wood, yes. which definitely will help him. Oh, I mean, it looks without like that, it's, it's nothing. Oh, no, impossible. Wood. This looks like it should go automatic. There it, there is. it is. There it is. There it is. So things are Again, getting... Again, that was a break. Very that was a break on That's his right. part. That Deadwood isn't there. He's got no shot. Instead, he gets a uh, relatively easy shot. And look at the replay action of that spare just moments ago. There it is. Right on, just below the red line. Boom, boom. And here it is again. Wow. This time he gets a solid nine drop. We're back even, Dick. Can you imagine? We're back even. Right to the pin. Exactly even. And, and we're on. exactly even there, but Chip Carson Chip. has the ball. With now Chip has <laughs> the ball instead of Dawn. So now it's up to Dawn to read. become a very interesting match. Oh. That's the way we like it. One mark difference right here to this point. Sauce here. Solid. Well, he gets a little roll here. He gets some help. Well, he's got some help. See where the dead would finally uh, turn, end up. Turn, turn, Oh no. Oh Don't boy. Don't stay on the plate. Don't go into the. Don't go into the gutter. Well, he's still uh, got a shot at it. Well, but <laughs> slim. <laughs> I'm glad he's shooting it. <laughs> this and is a tough one. All you can do is bang it over there and and hope things fly the right way. Well, that's what he's going to do. Right on it. There right it is. There. Perfect. Pretty. Oh, shot. that was beautiful. 
Pretty because strong. that was not, as uh, Russ indicated, that was not an easy shot oh, to no. convert. You need a little Very lot to carry that. By the challenger. Watch this again. Definitely worthy of another look. Watch this now as he just go like a shot, it. though. Yeah. Right across there. Just caps, like the strong. Caps Bang. the front wood and drives the other, the back wood, to carry those three pins. Saucier coming back with another big fill. He wants that extra pin. He's, He's got, got it. it. Whoa. Got that it was all that body pin. English that I he guess gave so. it. That last bit of uh, lift that Don gave it on the approach. Oh, look at this. Look at this, though. See, he now gets a break with the wood before. Now the wood is moving. Oh, uh, this isn't easy. He's got a half a pin to shoot at. That's right. He's got to be he careful. Don't, he doesn't want to touch that front wood. Not at all. Unless he goes real low. Way low. No, oh, he's got to be way down. He's got to just low. nick it. Way low. Oh, he pulled low. it right out. He touched that. He touched the wood in front of wow. the pin so much that he just pulled it out. Yeah. Unreal. That's going to be a big one. That's See? the one. That's what we were afraid of, as you mentioned, Russ. Yeah. Right. So, yep. a 9 and a 1, 14 through 8, and a tough break for the challenger on that one as he just had, oh, just three inches maybe oh. to shoot at, oh. if that, two to three well, inches. Well, it, it was makeable, but again, it was a one of those, line shot. yeah. Goss is coming right back with an 8 drop and a big fill on his two in a row. Still no bonus money with the well, caliber of these two bowlers. Right here. We have just not had. My prediction is he'll make this. Well, chances are awfully good because he has been on. And there he's is. got it. Good prediction. There's the bonus. $25 for three in a row. He's been pretty consistent throughout yep. the weeks on that. So he is now at 83, and the ball working, opposite 105 for Saucier. And he's right there with a the hammer. hammer. Oh, my. Oh, my. Look at this. Four in a row. Just seems he to just answer. He rises just yep. to the occasion, doesn't he? Oh, he has it going. Look at this once again, as the young man, 24 years of age, just never ceases to amaze us. No, that one built it back up, so it's almost where they started. Almost the 21 pins. Two boxes to go. Look at this. Don needs to mark big here, closing out. Yeah, he pulls it by. I don't know if anyone can stop this fella. Boy, oh boy. Huh? He is like a tide, I'll tell you. He just wow. keeps coming back. He rises. He lowers, but he always <laughs> seems to, to come back when you need him. Nice, nice 10 box. Excellent cleanup box. So got to have a double. He right needs here. a hammer. Right? Needs a double, really. Well, realistically, he's got to have that double. He's capable. No question. 124. Yogi says it's never over till it's over. That's right. We don't know. Right up there. Right up there. Oh, he nearly had it this way, but it didn't fall straight enough. And he's got he's the got spare, it. 134, and one ball to roll. So well, stranger things have happened. Closing out but here, he's but looking at a, he's got to play for a miracle. Pins, of course. The, oh, uh, yeah. The tough, if they were even or so, or yeah. close to even. Tough break on it. Good finish here with a seven fill. 141. 141. 370 total for Don Stassi. That's a good total. Nice total. Well, Definitely right around his average well, of uh, 125. It still isn't over, you know. Oh, no. No, no. Oh, no. This is not over. Chip does not want to punch in this ball. That's he wants right. to put a good roll on this ball right That's here. Right. Anything, anything but a punch is all Chip is thinking. That's right. He wants a decent fill. He's working on four in a row. And that's a double. Uh oh. Here goes the well, TV. Well, that's five in a row. Wow. And uh, he's got two strikes up, folks. And you know what that means, don't you? Now we have a shot. You know right that means right there. There it is. There it is. A 20 inch Zenith. Cable ready color television. Look at this on the replay action. No question. No question. Donated by LeBlanc's Audio Video Center, 471 Elm Street. And if he can throw one more of those hammers, that set over there is his. <laughs> he 
dropped it. <laughs> he dropped it. He said, here, the first utterance was from Chip. He says, I choked. He says, I choked. Oh, he oh, knew. He knew break. in a second. Yep, tough break. And he punches. <laughs> so the set still will remain the, the uh, property of uh, LeBlanc. But the match will be Chip Constance once again as he is defended. And uh, he is the champion. A five box and a 136, but it's all immaterial at this point in time. He gets $45 in bonus money for the run and a 386 total. He wins by 16. So an excellent match, but uh, the champion again comes up and prevails here in the, uh, in the stretch. Great match. We'll be right back and we'll see what he can do with that 1710 jackpot, which is worth $375. If someone dollars, the one seven ten jackpot. Yeah. Well, you know what he <laughs> says. That's it. All right. Okay. Uh, He's been close the last two weeks, and this time he just pulled it wide. Okay. So again, Bob Brochu and the Whitehall and Porkies uh, elude that one, but it will be worth four hundred dollars next time. Gloria Beers from Sabatis, Maine, for a total of seven fourteen, and that's yep. just a little bit low. We were seven fifty six today. Uh, they bowl good totals, so just a good try. Good try. Uh, three weeks ago, she would have won with that 717 that's total. That's right. But, uh, that's, that's the right. way it is, of course. So that uh, home viewer drawing will be uh, worth $250 next week. So keep those cards coming in, and we'll be right back with the presentations to follow. I eat sausage. Back to Maine Candlepin Bowling here on Channel 51 WPXT. We had a great match today. Don, I, uh, I know that you'd like to have a couple balls back, but you bowled a real good total. 370 is certainly enough to be ashamed of, and uh, it could have gone your way as well as not. Uh, the gentleman came up with a double and put you away at the end, but you still could have won that match. Well, we both got a slow start, and I thought he was going bad for a while. I started to <laughs> liven up, but he was saving it for the last string, I guess, last sure. six boxes. He wanted a color TV, I think, too, Don, didn't he? Uh, <laughs> well, it all isn't lost, Don. I know you're going to be back next year, and I have a check here for you. So uh, congratulations again for being on, and I'll see you next year. Well, Chipper, again, uh, you, uh, you both started out slow, and uh, down the stretch you both threw some pretty decent strings, and uh, the double came on and very handy. Of course, uh, when Don missed those uh, two eight and nine pin drops, uh, respectively, uh, obviously, that double really kind of uh, put the, uh, uh, the the final nail in the coffin, I guess. Yeah, he was feeling a little sorry for me because I stayed at this motel twice, so he felt a little obligated, right? No, it's just uh, that's the way they've been falling. He, he had that nine-pin drop. He was right there. It just didn't go. You know, there's nothing you can do, and that gave me a little bit of an up to, to throw a couple strikes, but uh, that's too close. On the triple, what happened? Uh, you were the first one to utter the, did you just drop the ball? That, was close that wasn't even close. That's <laughs> embarrassing. No, it, I just, I knew right when I let go of the ball, it's just, you, you just wanted it a little too much, and that's what happened. Yeah. Okay, but you did everything else, and uh, you did have $45 extra in bonus money this week, and uh, again, Sportline Trophy, and I uh, uh, I know you're going to like that. Uh, they, uh, they've uh, uh, been doing this all year long for us, and uh, they've been uh, just great in presenting those to our winners. And uh, we don't know uh, who our challenger is going to be for this red-hot young man from uh, Bangor Brewer, but I'm sure it'll be a formidable foe. So uh, make sure you're right here uh, next uh, week at 11 a.m. on WPXT TV 51 to catch all the action of Maine Candlebin Bowling. So for Russ Neely, this is Dick Leone saying good afternoon, everyone. Coming up, they'll take...